Hello everyone, my name is Luis, Luis Dentinho and this is my friend Duke. Today we're going to show you uh, how to take the back and how to sweep from half guard. So depend on each direction your point is take. Okay, so let's start going to the back. So, as soon as I have a half guard, I need to understand what he needs. Okay, so I can work on my techniques after. So right here guys, he needs put my opposite shoulder flat to the ground, okay? He can do this by grabbing my head, or he can do this by go over my shoulder, okay? So, let's work first when he tries to take my, grab my head. So, right here, first thing guys I need to do is like, having the head guard, of course, and uh, if I don't have this friend to maintain the distance, I need this, but he's just gonna try to grab my head if you don't have the friend. If you have the friend, go, go try to grab my head, I can just close the guy. So it doesn't make sense for him to try to grab my head if I have the friend. So let's work when I don't have the friend. So right here, I don't have the friend, okay? I face him toward that direction. Okay, the same side my, that my opponent tried to pass. Right here guys, I wanna use this frame right here, okay? My forehead is always facing toward my, my opponent's shoulder. I will explain why this. So go to try to swim your arm, please. So right here, look, he's trying to grab my head, okay? And I keep fighting him. If he swim the hand, I hold his forearm. Go, try to grab my head. The reason he cannot grab my head right here is because he cannot open the elbow. If he, he just gonna be able to grab my head if his elbow can open. If I grab his forearm and then I close my elbow, go, no way he can grab my elbow. So now how can, I, how can I replace? I can bump the hip, make him put the hand on the ground, or that's okay to try to take the back and grab his forearm. Okay? So again, let, let's talk about this, this fight way. If I grab his bicep, he still can come to my head. Okay? So I don't want to grab his bicep. Okay? So I want to keep my hands open. All the thing I have to do here is don't let him go too close to my elbow, otherwise he can go under. So right here guys, I'm gonna be between the wrist and the elbow. Keep fighting, yeah, it's close right here, keep fighting right here. Even if he's too strong and he's still coming, just because I have my, my forehead facing toward his uh, shoulder, try to make a grip please, he cannot. If my head is like this, bro, is when he can grab. So make sure guys, you guys close, okay, this space. Don't keep looking up, looking toward his shoulder. Try to grab my head. I have this right here. Try to swim. If he succeeds, I hold his forearm. Try to grab, okay. This one I can start taking his back. So right here guys, on this side, I will lift my leg and my arm, everything together. If you see my palm, my, my palm are facing up to the ceiling. If my palm are facing down, go uh, put your weight back, I don't have strength. My palm are facing up right here, go. My shoulder is very strong right now, you can try this. <coughs> I just grab his back after I have his leg right here. So right here guys, I will twist the leg to make sure he cannot face him toward that direction. So now I can make a grip. Try to face into that way. He cannot go because right now I'm twisting the leg. This is when I can go to his back. Let's switch side, please, so you guys can see the leg. So once I'm going to take the back, if I just use my arm, it's too heavy. So I, I will put my palm on my thigh and I will lift with my elbow. Try to come back. No way, push, twist, go down by his ankle. So right now I can make a grip. And then keep pushing forward. Try to face it. Yes, okay, he cannot go. So now I'm gonna bring this elbow to my, my rib cage so I can skip and then go to the back. So right now guys, as soon as I want to take his back, most of the people doing this, the other half side Okay, they have a half back and then they try to pull. If he's too strong, 
If he is a true strong guy, or he, he can't stay. So make sure you hook, go to the center of, of your opponent's back. So now, roll over your strong side. The strong side of the arm go over the shoulder. So I use my toes on the ground, pushing myself forward. If he's a true big, and uh, he put his arm forward right here, okay, that I cannot push him forward, give him strong base, I will just open my knee and then drive my hip down. So make sure you go to your opponent's uh, uh, center right here, guys. Okay, on the, on the middle of his back, toes on the ground, push forward, <coughs> okay? The other situation is, down here, please. If we here, go over. One mistake that I see a lot is people who want to keep this, this frame right here. That's okay, this is not wrong. The problem is this. My frame just worked if my opponent's facing to me. So this frame just worked if he faces to me. This frame just worked if he faces to me. I have this frame. If I allow him to put the knee right here, now I don't have frame anymore. Okay, in the hip. I have this frame. If he go over, now I don't have frame anymore. Okay, so when he can control the opposite shoulder. So, the key on this situation right now, I have this, okay? He get tired to try to grab my head, okay, it's when he go over. So my hand go right here, okay, under his armpit. As soon as he move the hip, I will control his leg. Right now, I will make a grip in the hip tricep. I will bring my inside leg, my in inside knee towards my chest, and I will roll over my opposite shoulder. I'm doing this using the leg. Right here, please. The reason I had to make this grip on the tricep and I don't hold right here next to the wrist is because I need to take the weight off my hip, bring it towards my chest. How he can put the weight there? He will try to face his body towards me. So right now his weight is very heavy over there. If I grab his tricep, try to face it towards me, no way he can face it towards me. So right now, I can bring him much easier. So that's why, make sure you don't keep, don't, don't make a grip right here guys on the wrist, but make a grip on the tricep. Okay, so again, full technique. He's gonna go over. I swim. Sweep. Right now, you can do any pass. Okay, so so make sure, guys. You guys in the half guard, don't allow the person to 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 control your opposite shoulder. One key that I use a lot. I, I use this in side control or half guard. In side control, I see many, many people doing this. Okay, they cross the leg right here. No way he can face to me. He needs to face him to me. If, if he's fighting against me, he needs to face him towards me. So that's why if his knee, if his open body facing to me, but his knee facing up, I can flatten him. So right now he's gonna put the toes on the ground. Facing to me, I cannot push him anymore. Have you got the same thing? If his open body facing to me, but his knee facing up like this, I can put his shoulder flat on the ground. Toes on the ground, knee, everything facing towards me, right here. I cannot push. All right, thank you. Peace.